good afternoon everybody. We are currently on our way to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Tomorrow I'm going to be uh, running in a 10K here, or actually there. It's the uh, Jingle Bridge Run, 5K or 10K, and I chose the 10K version. And since the word jingle is in the title, of course, that means that uh, it is a Christmas, Christmas kind of run. And it's going to be taking place on Christmas Eve. So what type of crazy person would run a 10K on Christmas Eve? Well, you are looking at that crazy person. I wanted to get back in. Um, I haven't done a race review since the last time uh, I ran the Honolulu Marathon, which is actually the first time I ran the Honolulu marathon the second time I tried to do a race review and that didn't really work out so gonna get back into that again and uh, you know this seemed like a pretty pretty easy layup to get started since uh, I had a lot of extra time in the car to get to Hilton Head um, that kind of uh, gave me a little bit of time to think about how I was gonna do this so um, hope you enjoy the show and uh, let's get this thing kicked off Okay, so we have just checked into our hotel, the uh, Omni here at the uh, oceanfront here in Hilton Head, and we are on our way to the uh, do the race packet pickup here at the bike doctor shop. Um, so, you know, definitely a little chilly out here, probably about 45 degrees, something like that. Amazingly, when I went to the hotel, there were still people playing in the heated pool, which I guess is kind of cool for this time of year, but uh, overall just... Uh, in a quarter mile, turn right onto William Hilton Parkway. Looking forward to uh, seeing here, uh, you know, how busy this uh, packet pickup is and also kind of, you know, what free stuff I'm getting out of this. So we shall see. Okay, and we went and did our packet pickup. We're number 85, and you can see the long sleeve t shirt here. Um, pretty much just a that's pretty much it for the, all the free stuff so pretty basic packet pickup and here you can kind of see the race for the map so see the turnaround point at mile five a little bit of the going over for miles one two three and four so we'll go into a little bit more detail on this here uh, a little bit later in the video overall and out here is just an exterior shop a shot of the bike shop where this went in pretty easy in and out um, so i was in and out in less than like three minutes so not a lot of free stuff, but also the good part is it's uh, it was really efficient and well done. So overall, that was pretty good. All right, well, packet pickup is done. I um, didn't get a, too, a lot of uh, footage there on the inside because it's a small place. And really, you know, I'm not a huge fan of sticking the camera in people's faces or like, you know, obliviously or obviously um, filming a lot of things up close like that. So I'm a little sensitive to that. So that's why I pretty much just got the outdoor shots. But it was pretty much a straightforward uh, in and out job. Um, got the t-shirt pickup, got the pins, got the, uh, got the whole uh, front plate thing. So running number 85 for this one. But uh, overall, um, in and out, no problem. I'm gonna do a little bit of a map recon here with you guys here in a little bit once I get back from, uh, get back to the hotel room and possibly uh, pick up a snack here, so. We shall see. Um, we'll do a weather check, a map check, and uh, you know, then we'll kick things off for tomorrow morning. So this is the basic map overview. You can already see the turnaround point at mile five. A um, little bit of twist and turns there when it looks around. So that's a start line right there. And um, looks like you're going to take a hard right turn. You can see kind of where the uh, river is and where the bridge is there, about the one mile point. And then uh, you can see the 5K turnaround point and the 10K turnaround point, which means on your way back, you're probably going to have to make your way through some 5K runners, and then back down and out for the 5. And the main thing is the twists and turns there, um, kind of in the middle portion of the race. So making sure those hopefully are well signed and that there's people pointing out the uh, which way you're supposed to be going. So that looks like it could be uh, a little confusing potentially. And looking at it on Google Earth to try to get a, another better idea of the race, which is always something good to do. You kind of see around the starting area. That's our general starting area where everything's going to go down. Um, you can see a lot of houses and traffic, but that's probably right there going to be about the general start point of the race. And so you're going to take that right there. You're going to go over the uh, river there. You can kind of see the little highlighted path there where the 10K is going to turn up and off onto Spanish Wells Road and back. You can't get a good shot of all the twists and turns you're going to be taking there at about the about the four mile portion or so. Um, so hopefully those are well marked in the race. And then after that, you're going to 
probably somewhere in there is where all the turnarounds are going to be. And then after that, you're going to go down um, one of these straight paths. It was hard to tell on the map um, which one of those two parallel paths you're going to take as we pan down for the five mile. And then somewhere down there is the turnaround point that you're going to take back. So a lot of out and back in this one, so hopefully the traffic isn't too bad. And this is the overall uniform that I'm going to be wearing. So split shorts um, from Brooks. Um, those have always served me well in the races in the past and I'm always pretty comfortable, not too much chasing. Typical black socks, uh, sock and running shoes, which is I kind of rotate back and forth between them and Hoka. And um, typical Brooks uh, racing top that I've used before. I ran my first marathon and it's always pretty comfortable. Um, despite the potential weather conditions. Um, number 85, of course, I show that again. And my headband, which um, is usually has a pretty good job keeping the keeping the sweat off. Hey, morning, morning. It is the morning of race day. It's about 7.12, about 45 minutes this thing kicks off, and I am en route to the, uh, to the park here where the start line is. It is a balmy 40 degrees, um, so tank top and shorts is still going to kind of be a judgment call um, probably make the final call on that about 15 minutes before I do run a little bit faster the colder I am so uh, that might play in, into it a little bit um, overall no rain or anything in the forecast so there's that there's that going for it but um, overall it's gonna be a chilly 10k here this morning not that I didn't anticipate that with this being the 24th of December um, but overall still uh, still feeling pretty good still looking forward to it and uh, you know gonna go out there and do what we got to do so uh let's go ahead let's check out this uh this area where this thing's gonna get started and we'll get this thing kicked off okay so just arrived into the into the crossing park here so overall it looks like this course is gonna be pretty flat today so kind of setting an inter internal goal for myself between uh, 48 and 50 minutes so i'm um, looking forward to put together about six good 820 to eight minute miles and uh seeing what i can get out of this this is only the second race i've run this year um one was a 5k back in uh back in october time frame so um, obviously because of COVID that's kind of hacked into the race schedule a little bit and some of my actual runs have had turned into virtual runs which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, the walk-in for this race is about uh, about you know 800 meters so um, I'm gonna have to we're about 721 now this thing kicks off at 8 so obviously I gotta get out of this car and I'm gonna have to take uh, take my my uh, you know top and top and bottom with me against you know my normal policy because I'm not usually that trustworthy uh, but looks like I'll have to leave pretty much everything back here at the car and run in. Um, the course does look like it should be pretty flat. Um, since this is next to the ocean and since this does involve running over a bridge, I anticipate there'll probably be some winds out there. So um, I will be running cold. And of course, I didn't bring any gloves. So that will be fun, um, but I'm sure we'll get through it. I'm from the north. I'm running in South Carolina, so I have some of that you know, natural northern protection against cold weather. But uh, we will see how this goes. So that is the uh, that's the finish line there. The start will be uh, pretty close to it, right on this road here. Um, as you can see, a lot of people out here for the festival, so I get a great shot of the uh, of the pavement there. But overall, they had an immense amount of people, probably between like 400 so 400 or so people, um, possibly even more out here running the race. So it was a very festive atmosphere. A lot more people were just running the fun. We're just kind of running slash walking the 5k. So it was very festive. And uh, if you're looking to get into the Christmas spirit, definitely something that you can, you can go out and attend. So about to get this thing kicked off, feeling pretty good about it. Um, still a little concerned about the mapping and the course marking and everything. Cause there's a lot of twists and turns there about mile three, mile four. So we'll see how they split that up between the five K and 10 K runners. So, Overall feeling pretty good and about to get this thing started it's warming up a little bit so it looks like we're gonna go with the uh, with the shorts and the uh, and the top there, the really thin one. So it'll be cold, but cold makes you run faster.
So after the um, start, this is kind of uh, at the kind of beginning, or well, kind of towards the end of the first mile here. He's running over the bridge. You can see a pretty decent view here. And it was pretty cool to be able to, uh, you know, kind of see both sides of the bridge, especially on the uh, out and back portion. So you run along the right side and traffic is still able to move over to the left side of the bridge. But overall, this is one of the more scenic parts of the course. And um, this is about the fourth mile. I discovered that my camera wasn't really properly functioning for a lot of it, um, which was kind of a downfall. But as you can see, this is kind of just more of a wooded path. This is through all those turns in the park and you can see I'm kind of running around a lot of the 5k runners and this is where the 5k splits off of the 10k so there was a lot of people so having to weave through them was I guess a minor annoyance but um, I guess that's kind of the name of the game with uh, a lot of out and back courses. You can see me making the left turn here and this is the uh, path for the out and back portion for uh, mile 5. And this is after the mile 5 turnaround heading back so got a nice raised little levee here with a nice cement path so overall it was pretty good the course itself was pretty pretty solid as I'm checking my time there to see how I'm doing so this was uh, overall pretty easy and flat course and uh, one I look forward to try to get back to if I can in the future at some point and this is just like the last snippet I had of the finish that was on my phone uh, most of the race that I had recorded was not actually recorded Okay, so overall looking at it, 771 calories, a heart rate of 173, 44.08 is the official time, and a distance of 6.05, an average pace of 7 minutes 18 seconds for the mile, and 771 calories. So overall some pretty good stats. Okay, so just completed, probably even with everything went wrong. One of my PRs for the, for the 10K. Obviously, I think I can do better. First off, these earbuds suck. Fell out of my ears twice during the race, so that affected my time. But I uh, ran with them before, never had a problem with them. If I can't rely on you on a race, 10 out of 10 would never wear again. So let that be a lesson to the runners. Even if something might work as far as earbuds go, it's always better to get the ones with the ear clips on it. That way they stay in and don't distract you. Two. Another tactical error on my part. Tried to film this using my phone, which was also my running music, so that was a little bit of a distractor. Also flipping forth between apps, but I lost my GoPro that I'd normally use on a previous vacation, so looks like I'll have to chip in for another one if I'm gonna do one of these things again. Overall, the race is well marked. Mostly flat except for the bridge parts, but definitely a good course if you're looking to PR something or you're bored on like Christmas Eve in the morning. I was okay with my performance, obviously happy with the PR, but as always, I think I can do a little bit better. So, yeah, overall it warmed up as the race went on, so temperature, even with what I was wearing, was not a factor. And, yeah, these earbuds just suck for running in a race. So, yeah, lessons learned from that. Well, uh, you know, go back, take a look at the mile splits here on my app and we'll go from there okay so looking across the uh, overall mile times 715 for the first mile 702 for the second 714 for the third for the fourth mile 717 for the fifth mile 743 710 for the sixth mile so overall pretty consistent outside of the fifth mile where my uh, earbuds came out so Overall, not too bad. Um, next time, I will have to get a GoPro to better record things. Obviously, I thought my phone was recording a lot more during the race than it was. Um, it was a very beautiful run. It was a very scenic run. It was a great way to get into the Christmas spirit. So obviously, if I had the time next year to do this, I would. Um, running over the bridge was cool. The race course, as and of itself, was mostly flat, well marked. The volunteers did a great job. Um, so yes, I would absolutely come back and run this course again. I just wish I had more footage of it this time to show you because it was definitely a beautiful race, especially with everybody that uh, participated. So thank you again for watching and please like and subscribe the channel and uh, wish everybody a happy holiday season.